Welcome back to my channel guys, Next in Food. I am your diva chef, Simone Walker Barrett. Now I've been getting many emails and messages, people asking me to do a tutorial on how I make curry chicken for my family. So here goes, today is your lucky day and I'm so excited to show you how simple it is. First of all, let's talk a little bit about curry chicken. Now curry chicken came to us from our Indian influence to the Jamaican culture and curry chicken is loved by, I am going to boldly say, every Jamaican. We eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So in my opinion, when you're making curry chicken, you need nice fresh chicken, and you need to cut the chicken up in small pieces. At least that's how I do it. So you cut it in small pieces, and then we wash it under running water, and we wash it with a little lime juice or vinegar, and then we put it to drain, and then we cook our chicken usually in a Dutch pot, all right? Now curry is really, for us Jamaican, is this bright yellow spice that we love. Curry, by the way, um, in Jamaica comes from, this little powder right here, um, it's made from turmeric. And so turmeric is dried and ground in a powder. So I would say 90% of the Jamaican curry is turmeric. And then we have some other spices mixed in. We all have our favorite brand. I absolutely love this particular brand I'm using. And so guess what? Let's make some curry chicken because I'm hungry. We love curry chicken. So let me show you how simple it is to make curry chicken for you and your family. And by the way, we have curry chicken in Jamaica with boiled dumpling, boiled yam, boiled banana, roast breadfruit, and most beloved white rice. Yeah, if you're Jamaican, you know what white rice is. White rice is your favorite white rice, boiled in water and salt, and that's what we eat our curry chicken with. So come, let me show you how to make some curry chicken. All right, guys, so for our curry chicken, first and foremost, we are going to need some chicken. I have some chicken that I cut in about some two inch pieces. This chicken, as I said before, was washed with a little um, vinegar on the running water. So what you want to do after you cut your chicken up and wash it, you wanna drain it. And then I'm gonna put it into a container. Then you're going to add some salt and pepper. I like to mix the salt and pepper together. I don't season my chicken ahead of time. I just season it as I'm going to cook it. Then what I do next is add my curry powder. I add most of it directly to the chicken. You see that? And you take a spoon or you can go in there with your hand and basically just season it. If you want to allow your chicken to marinate for a while, that's up to you. But I don't. I like to just put the seasoning on it and cook it right away. So this is my seasoned chicken that I'm gonna be currying. Okay, up next, I'm gonna show you what is meant by burning the curry. Now this is my favorite brand. This is my favorite brand. I love it so much, I'm sharing it for free. This is called the Better Pack Curry. And you Jamaican curry lovers, you Jamaicans, you know what we're talking about. This is the curry, all right? So I'm adding my curry powder directly to the chicken that has been washed and drained and you just mix it up just like that all right so this is how we season the curry chicken with just some salt and pepper and curry powder now that is going to go off to the side up next i'm going to add oil to the pot all right and then we're going to do a little process that we call in jamaica burning the curry you add the curry directly to the oil um, so it's not really burning, it's just kind of frying it. Spices are fat soluble, and so when you add them directly into fat, it wakes the flavor up. But the term we use in Jamaica, most household use is that they burn the curry. So don't really let it burn, so we're just frying it. And then we're going to add some ginger. I like to slice my ginger and add it. You can mince it. And then I also like to add some garlic. And I like to fry those first just to get the flavor going, okay? So fry your garlic and ginger and half of the curry powder in the oil to wake up the flavor. And then you want to add your seasoned chicken. We add the chicken in. 
And also, whenever you're making curry, you have to understand that curry is basically a stew. That's all it is. The method of making curry chicken is the stewing method. So you put it in a big enough pot that can give it some time to just get happy and release its natural juices. And also, searing the, the, the chicken meat is important. So you put it in the pot and then you cover the pot and you leave it for 10 minutes, stirring occasionally so that the chicken can spring its natural juices. All right guys, so the um, curry chicken has been in the pot for 10 minutes. Now it's time to give it a stir. See, everything is cooking nicely. Cooking nicely and I'm adding no water. I don't usually add water to my chicken until I'm about to make the gravy, all right? So very important, you want the chicken to cook in its natural juices. So this is 10 minutes, um, 10 minutes, and this is what it looks like. I just wanna take you through it step by step. So we're gonna cook this chicken for a total of about 40 minutes. I'm gonna give it 10 more minutes and then I'm going to add in our other aromatic vegetables like our onions and our bell peppers. I love bell pepper in curry chicken and other good stuff. So in 10 more minutes, you'll see what it looks like. Okay, so the curry chicken has been cooking now for 20 minutes and I did not add an ounce of water to it. Look how much juicy liquid is in the pot. Look at that. Now, this is what I want you to do. Chicken is packed with water. I don't know if they pump water in chicken in the factory, but you, I find that you don't need to add any extra water unless you desire some gravy, which I'll do close to the end. So now is a good time for us to add all the other good flavors. I'm adding in scotch bonnet. My family love it spicy, so we're adding in one whole scotch bonnet, seed and all. I'm adding in some onions, and I chop the onions in big pieces. Also, some scallions go in, and thyme, all right? You can use fresh or dry thyme. I'm using that. I'm using what I have. And so I'm gonna mix this together, and at 10 minutes interval, that is how I cook the chicken. So I'm gonna cover this now, and let it cook for 10 more minutes, and I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like. So our chicken has been cooking, cooking. We still haven't added any water. We have a lot of liquid. Now it's time to add some bell peppers. This is totally up to you. I love bell peppers, so I love adding it in stews. And we're gonna mix it in. And in five more minutes, our curry chicken dinner is going to be ready. I'll show you what it looks like in five. All right guys, so our curry chicken dinner is finally ready. This curry chicken took me a total of 35 minutes to make. Um, I added in half cup of water just because I want some gravy. My family absolutely love lots and lots of gravy with the curry chicken. Now you can choose to thicken your gravy with a cornstarch or flour slurry, but that is totally optional. I didn't thicken mine, it is naturally thicker. This is what it looks like. Remember I told you at the beginning that curry for me is a stew. So this is curry chicken. The method of cooking it is stewing and anything that is stew should be saucy or in this case filled with gravy because we're gonna have this with some boiled green banana and white rice. That's how my family and I love to have it. So your curry chicken will take longer to cook if you take if you cut it in big pieces but once you cut it in small pieces like this it will cook in 30 to 35 minutes all right do not overcook your curry chicken you want the meat to firmly attach itself to the bone and not falling off so i thank you for watching i do hope that you found this tutorial to be informative Remember to like and share. I am your diva chef, Simone Walker Barrett. I'll see you next time with another of my family's favorite Jamaican comfort food. Take care.